And what will be the uh, the title for for your album? You know yet? Crimera. Crimera. Yes. So it has the, the name inside, but just Crimera. Yeah. Yes. So that's the idea behind it. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know. Yeah. The yeah. Bakujan. There's not Bakujan. It's doggy dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably. Bakujan. Okay, and speaking about recording, how do you record? Do you record, you record like whole takes or segments or I don't know? I'm used I mean, to, about yeah. drums, yeah? Yeah, I don't yeah, mean yeah, guitars. yeah. No, guitars I suck. I cannot record one mm -hmm. song in total. At but, all. Okay. <laughs> but drums, I. Yeah, when we, we recorded Decapitated album, it was like, okay, you know what, let's maybe record four full takes and maybe mm -hmm. it's enough. Mm -hmm. And it was like this, we just went four times through the song, if there was one specific part, we just kept repeating this one. But I felt like that it has more flow if you go in a one take. Whole song. Yes. Yeah. And it, um, on some certain parts in the song, it could be that you maybe play a bit weaker because you already played a lot of blast beat before, you know, and then the blast beat in the middle of the song is a bit different, but I somehow liked it because it's a natural approach to that. Yeah, yeah. So I would definitely go for that again, and I always record it like this that I record the whole song, mm -hmm. just play through it, and then choose the best parts out of it. It just has more flow, and um, of course, it works if you do like piece by piece, mm -hmm. but I think it's fast if you just go through the the whole song yeah, bah, I think bah, so. bah. and you get warmed up and yes yeah. usually first take is not good mm -hmm. then second and third are the best ones fourth just to be sure mm -hmm. and I, I I want to like record at least at least two songs per day but with the best three mm -hmm. depending how intense the songs are I will not start with the heaviest song so I always want to have <clears throat> one song to get warmed up and then the next one will be the heavier and harder one so I'm already I know how the situation looks mm -hmm. like how it sounds like because in the studio it sounds different and you were practicing a month before in your in your practice room and you like you think you're prepared you go in a studio and it sounds different you're like wow okay I, I have to play so much different okay. so yeah okay and uh, are you going to to film anything in the studio? I want to, to make yes, drum camps, yes. yeah. I want to because mm -hmm. I always enjoyed to watch um, studio reports. Reports, and, yeah, yes. like we all do. We all do, yes. Yeah. So I want to also <laughs> give my fans something to watch. And um, I have to talk with my friend what he, I have some plans, what I want to do. And uh, yeah, for sure, I want to capture some drum action this time because for the first, I, I, and didn't really do it so this time I want to really do it from the studio yeah we are all waiting yeah <laughs> yeah and we have to you know film some gear stuff of course some solos yeah <laughs> some running like gym stuff you know what my brother actually had this idea like you know what we should do a YouTube video where we just work out like sure we just go in the gym like brutal get it all yes and I even had this crazy idea to make because you have always those drum DVDs, mm -hmm. you know, with like they show you rudiments. Why not do a drum DVD, which is actually a combination of sports and drumming? Like it shows you exercises to help you play yeah, better or something. Yeah. But I heard that <laughs> there is even a book uh, called like you know exercises for for drummers, and it's it's, it's not like rudiments. That? Yeah, it's okay, like all okay. you know muscle exercises. I didn't and ask. It's like from some book from the uh, seventies. Great, yeah. so someone stole my idea. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Sorry to... to yeah. I'm it's sorry, okay, man. good. <laughs> okay. Uh, and do you have any words or advices to for young people who just want to take the drums and... Yeah, number one... What would you tell? Yeah, to What I would tell them is, first of all, what is the most important ever, doesn't matter if you're a professional or if you just play for yourself or play with the band, is... You should have fun because it's all about that, you know. And if you want to, you know, get better and you maybe want to become a professional musician, which is not easy, I have to say that, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be lucky a lot, but it's possible. Then you have to be very patient and you have to have some sort of 
some sort of passion which you never lose you know especially in moments where nothing is going on you have that could be a half year or just a month where you're struggling with one specific exercise and you just cannot cannot do it mm -hmm. but I'm sure there will be the moment where you do like this and in those moments where you just sit there in the practice room like ah, does it make actually sense to play yes it does you know you have mm -hmm. to see it from this point of view you just went to play drums like you you spend your time and that you still keep trying this is also something positive right sure and it's it's making your character yeah yeah exactly mm. and it's not easy it's absolutely not easy but it's about passion about having fun and being patient and try to um, learn things correct it doesn't make sense to rush mm -hmm. and learn something like super fast but actually you don't have any tactic because Later it could be that you have problems with your arms or with your legs, doesn't matter. Or it's about to that you should increase your, your speed, for example. But the problem is your technique. It makes it ten times harder to relearn again. So make sure that you really Do take you everything. Flowing yes, correctly. Exactly. Yeah. And what is also important is try to get inspiration. Mm -hmm doesn't matter which sort we were talking before about it could be musicians could be um, sports guys in my case or mm. your family or whatever just get some sort of inspiration which keeps you going and um, for example you have some some friend who would like to play uh, make a band just go for it like even a guitar player can show you a lot you know when I joined Decapitated Vogue was telling me so much how to increase my drumming and I wouldn't be the same drummer mm -hmm. after that because I was playing very soft and controlled and he told me to like play very hard and do things different so I really appreciate the fact that he taught me as well things but he is a guitar player but still yeah. you know because you maybe are so narrow-minded mm -hmm. with the ideas but you never have had a band before like before Decapitated like a serious band yeah I had, but it was not like a band which you really can play tour with mm -hmm, because it mm -hmm. was, you know, people had jobs and, uh, but we tried to do something, but as I said before, Australian music scene, especially metal, underground is working very well, you know, it's always the same people that support each other, but somehow it's hard to go out of, out of this, you know, and uh, I had a band called Thorns of Ivy, it was like a black death metal band we just we could, sadly could play a couple of, of shows and we wanted to record new album but then decapitated came into it and I was like I had to go mm -hmm. even if I would like to play longer mm -hmm. with them but it was like I have to decide now and I had uh, another band which was like uh, some more instrumental music also progressive music more like um, a perfect circle but more complicated Yes. Ah, the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the man chicken. The, <laughs> the <laughs> they are everywhere, man. They're everywhere. <laughs> Polska. <laughs> but it was the decapitated. It was, of course, the first professional band. Mm -hmm. So, what else are your plans for the future? And we know that you are listening an album. And what do you have any other plans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have other plans. I mean. Most important is to just make music. Doesn't matter if it's my music or is it with the other band. So I would like to keep going. <laughs> I love that chicken. And um, yeah, you know, maybe bring my solo project to the next level. And uh, I would like to, of course, join again a bigger band just to play with people to <laughs> be able to tour. I'm not sure if we should do this question again. <laughs> He will not stop, you know that? <laughs> I think he's just going to sleep. Yeah. He's going to sleep? <laughs> so I try to finish this question real quick. <laughs> yeah, we know it. <laughs> I want that in the interview, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> so, to make it shortcut, yes, I want to play music. That is my... I want to play with bigger bands. I want to play... I want to make session work, you know, and... Um, never stop the music. Okay, but there is nothing like coming up surely uh, sh surely in the moment not no. that i join a, like for real a big band or something like this um but i have a couple of session works going on mm -hmm. there was some swedish band i maybe we'll do something we'll see how it 
what's going on, but you never know. You know, with Behemoth, there was also like yeah, this. They the just same call with Decapitated. They just exactly. call you in like 10 days and you are in. So you have to be mm -hmm. ready, as I said before. Mm -hmm. All the mm -hmm. time training, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to keep in shape. Exactly. Okay, so last words you want to say to, to your fans? Bardzo dziękuję for Polish fans and... You guys are saibiste. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, you know, fans are great. You know, this is every support you can get from people, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So because it inspires me to keep going, and it's nice to get a feedback from people, even if it's sometimes a bad feed, feedback. But you you can learn something. You can learn from that exactly criticism, and uh, but mostly it's very positive comments. So it um, thank you very much for that. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Kerim Lechner, aka Krim, and you should check out beatit.pl. Dobra? K5. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> it was hard, but. No, it was fucking cool, but I want all this chicken and laughing stuff inside because it makes the yeah, intro cool. Recordings.